In this video, I'm going to show you the top 7 most unstoppable money plays in Madden 24. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. With that said, let's get into it. In order to run an explosive offense in Madden, you need to have a powerful play or two that your opponent needs to worry about on every snap. And if you have one of these plays that draws the focus and attention of your opponent, this is going to open up other areas of your offense for easy touchdowns. So today we're going to cover the top 7 most unstoppable plays in Madden 24, also known as money plays. And I'm also going to give you everything that you need to know to easily build an offense around each of them. And like always, the full schemes designed to maximize these plays and make them even more unstoppable can be found on winmadden.com. But with that, let's get into the first one. The first play we're taking a look at is tight end corner from the tight Y off formation. And we're going to be using this out of the Minnesota Vikings offensive playbook. Now, the play tight end corner is special because it's a universal beater, meaning it beats every defense in the game, and we only have to make one small adjustment to it. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to put our B receiver on a fade route. Now, I want to point out to you that we are running this from a hash mark, so the ball is on the right hash mark right now, and our running back is to the short side of the field. In order to run this play most effectively, you're going to want to have it on a hash, and your running back should always be to the short side. Now, again, this beats every type of defense in the game, so I'm going to start with a cover three. Your first two reads are going to be simple. Your running back and your X receiver should both get open for nice yards, but this tight end is going to get down the field against any zone defense and going to be an easy 20, 30 yard gain for you. So if we go into instant replay and just take a look at this against the cover three, again, your first reads are simple. If this is here, you can take it. You're going to force the user to come and play this. And then additionally, if they play the running back route, which you can quick throw right here, you can also throw this X receiver who's on an inverted zig, which is super annoying to guard because it's going to beat man and it's going to find this little sweet spot in zone. Now, additionally to the short side of the field here, we've got this fade route. This fade route is doing a job. He is occupying this deep outside third against a cover three. This will do the same thing against a cover four. It'll push any cover four zone down the field allowing us to throw this corner out below them for huge yards. Again, super simple, but a really, really effective play design. Now, if we were to go to man, I'm just going to show this against a cover one zone. You're going to notice that we have really, really effective man beaters on this play too. So again, we're just putting our B receiver on a fade. That's it. That's our entire setup. And we're simply now going to look to R, B, X, and Y. Those are all very, very effective man beaters. So let me just snap the ball here. We'll make the reads, but you're typically looking for this Y receiver. You can just free form it to the outside or pass lead it to the outside he'll beat man coverage and you have a potential to get down the field for an easy one play score but i do want to highlight again the running back and the inverted zig are very good against man as well you're gonna notice this inverted zig just absolutely cooked his man you're gonna have this to the inside we had a running back run into the line of scrimmage here unfortunately but normally he is gonna win and he's gonna get up the field right in this area and be wide open against man coverage now this tight end can also also beat man you do need to have a tight end that has decent route running but he can be very good against man coverage as well but again this play just universally beats every defense in the game the same setup all you need to do is put the b receiver on a fade route you are good to go and if you'd like to learn more about running this offense i've already posted a mini scheme on this play and this formation on my channel i'll link that in the description the next play we're going to take a look at is the play Flood from the formation Tight Slots Halfback Week, and we're going to be using the Cincinnati Bengals Offensive Playbook. The play Flood is one of the best zone beating plays in the game, and I'm going to show you a setup that literally will beat every single zone defense whenever you run into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to fade route our X receiver, and then if we think they're blitzing, we're going to block our tight end, our A receiver. So this is what our setup is going to look like. Now you're going to notice that we are on the left hash, and our running back is again to the short side of the the field just like in tight way off so we're going to run it very similar but you're going to notice the flood concept on the left side and again that x receiver needs to go on a fade because if he goes on a streak he won't push out a deep quarter in a cover four zone but if he's on a fade he will so we're going to start by showing this against the cover three and your first read on this is the flat route to the running back if they don't have hard flats you can quick throw this and go get yourself eight to ten yards every single time you're going to force your opponent to play hard flats so let's just say they play hard flats here's a cover three with hard flats we're going to set it up exactly the same 
X goes on a fade. Uh, we can block the tight end if we think they might be blitzing. And then what we're gonna do is, oh, we see hard flats over there, cool. Now we've got this Y receiver on this corner out and we're gaining 25 to 30 yards on that throw. Again, super easy, really, really simple. What I wanna point out to you though, is if the user decides to go chase that, let's, let's just say they do have hard flats here and then the user goes and chases this corner out, right? Well, we have this little backside in route slash dig route slash whatever you want to call this thing um, that can be really really annoying because the user is going to have to guard this too um, it, it is just really really good spacing and it's difficult to pick up everything on this play now that's a cover three right so let's go to a cover two for example cover two is again going to have no chance of guarding this so x is going to go on a fade we can block the tight end and then we're just going to snap the football again we have rb but we also have y he's going to get over any cloud flat and potentially we can rack this for a one play score against cover two again super simple concept really really great zone beater and i just want to show this against the cover four as well so here's the cover four defense this is a non-matching cover four but same thing is going to work again x going on a fade is crucial against the cover four specifically Specifically because it will still push out the deep outside quarter, allowing you to throw this corner out against every zone defense in the game. Again, Flood, one of the best plays, and absolutely this setup is one of the best zone beaters. Now, this play has a lot of different setups that can beat man, can beat zone, can beat match, can beat everything, and there is a four-play mini scheme out of this entire formation already on this YouTube channel. You can go check that out. I will link it in the description if you want to run a little bit more of this scheme. Now we're going to take a look at the play Verticals from the Trips tight end formation, and we're going to use this out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook. Now, surprisingly enough, Trips tight end and the play Verticals is so hard to stop. This is one of the best plays in the game, and you don't really need to do anything to it. Like, just stock. It's crazy good. Now, I do want to show you the balls on the right hash mark here. Our trips are to the wide side, so keep that in mind. We always want to run this with our trips to the wide side of the field. And if you do either have Hot Route Master or Running Back Apprentice, Putting your running back on a Texas route even makes this better, but you don't need it. I just want to show you that it can make it unbelievably good. So first and foremost, we're going to run this against zone. We're going to run it against man. I want to show it against a cover three to get started here. So if it's just a stock cover three, they don't have zone drops on or they don't have or they're not shading up or down. What you're going to notice is this Y receiver is so unbelievably difficult to guard out of any cover three or cover four defense. But if they're running at stock, he's going to get bumped. You just wait for that bump to get over and then you fit it in this window and you're going to go get huge yards against the cover three. Now, if they do have any zone drops on whatsoever or they're shading down or shading up, any type of cover three is just going to come wide open because he's not going to get bumped then and you're going to get 15, 20 yards on a quick throw it's unbelievably difficult to guard this if you want to just run a cover three defense. Same with the cover four though. Here's a cover four, right? It's the same read. If they do not have somebody like manned up on that guy, you've got a quick throw. Again, 15, 20 yards, cover three, cover four, every single time. Really, really good. So what about a Tampa two? And I do want to show this against it real quickly here. So here's a Tampa two defense. And the crazy thing about this play is you have a potential one play score against any Tampa two if you get time in the pocket and you're able to make the read. So the Y receiver is again, the one we're looking for. So if we snap it and we're able to get some time in the pocket to throw this, we're gonna be able to pass lead this to the inside and just catch that for huge yards and potentially even a one play touchdown against cover two zone defense. It's just absolutely crazy. Now those are the zones, right? We covered cover three, cover four, cover two. What about man? Let's go to a cover one man defense, for example. Now, again, if you have the opportunity to put your running back on a Texas route, totally take it. He's going to just absolutely roast his receiver. The corner route by the tight end is very, very good against man. Um, he will beat man pretty much every time if you've got a decent tight end. But the B receiver is really what we're looking for. This route is special against man. He essentially takes two small breaks. There's the first one, and then the second one just roasts his man. And you can potentially rack this up for easy one-play touchdowns against man defense every single time. Again, crazy good. That is the route you're looking for. And again, if you've got two man-beating routes on any play ever, you're going to do just fine. And look at the tight end. Just absolutely roast him. Again, this is Kyle Pitts going against Deion Sanders, right? And then additionally, the running back just roasts his man as well. So if this guy's the user in the middle of the field, he's in trouble, right? He's got to guard this guy. 
He's got to try to figure out how to guard this guy, and he's got to guard this guy. So you got easy yards, potential one point scores against man defense, against cover two, huge gains against cover threes and cover fours. This is one of the most overpowered plays in the game, period. And now we're going to take a look at another play called Flood, and this is from the Gun Bunch Strong Offset Formation in the New York Jets Offensive Playbook. Now the play Flood out of the Jets Playbook and the Formation Gun Bunch Strong Offset is insanely good at beating every defense in the game and we're not going to change a thing to this play in fact we're going to call this play and we're going to snap it as fast as possible we're going to use it as a quick snap so i'm going to show this against cover threes and cover fours first uh the first thing i want to show you though is why this play is special and it's special because of the b receiver so you're going to notice we're on the left hash mark here and we have our bunch to the wide side we're always going to want to run it that way and i'll get to why in a minute but i want to show you how special this b route is first so if i were to just have a streak or a fade route on b we would not be able to throw this corner out to the outside because the outside third will end up coming down, he'll play it, and it should be an interception. However, because this B route is a really unique fade route, it will push any deep third or deep quarter down the field for us, allowing us a wide open window for us to throw this tight end. So again, already we have a super unique thing that makes this really good. Now that's that'll work against a cover three or a cover four. But what makes this super special is this also beats some of the most meta defense in the game. So here's a Tampa 2, for example. I went ahead and put my light blue zones at 30 yards. So zone drops are set to 30. And then a lot of people are running a double Mabel look right now. At higher level Madden, you're seeing a lot of people do this, right? So let me just put them in the right zone. There we go, a double Mabel. It'll look a lot like this. It's two flat zones to each side of the field. Now, they will also go ahead and back off their corners so they play the maximum depth. But now that streak by B and the really deep corner out because we're running this to the wide side of the field is still going to get over the maximum depth double Mabel that people can put out there. That is as far as people can double Mabel and we're still going to be able to throw over the top of it for huge yards. This is what makes this play so special. Now, what if they try to run man or even man up that corner out. So here's just a cover one man just to show you that that corner out will also beat man, def man defense. So I'm going to go ahead and snap it. And you're going to see that corner out still beats man coverage even. So this is a super special play. You run it as fast as possible. You just run it stock. It beats every defense in the game. Your opponent is going to have to try to figure out a way to always stop this play if it's in your scheme, making it one of the most difficult money plays to stop in Madden 24. Next, we're going to take a look at the play tight end whip, and this is from the Wyoff Trips Pass Formation out of the New England Patriots Offensive Playbook. Okay, with tight end whip, we have one of the best man beaters in the entire game, and it is so easy to run and so difficult to guard. So I'm going to show this against cover two man, cover one man, and a cover zero man blitz. And this setup is really simple. So here's what the play looks like stock. We're going to go ahead and put the running back on a wheel route. We are then going to drag route our slot receiver, which is RB in this case. And then we're going to put our B receiver on a streak. That's it. That's our setup. And this is going to beat every man defense in the game. So again, this is a cover two man. We've got two deep safeties and you're going to see the corners essentially playing press coverage and playing underneath shade. So if that doesn't mean anything to you, that's fine. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to snap the football and you're going to see that we're just going to get so many people that just win. And it's going to be really big yards and they're going to be spaced out really nicely so a user can't guard everything. And again, the, the type of man defense just isn't going to matter. All of it is going to be good. So let's just take a look here. First of all, we've got this drag route. The drag route wins and really easy yards underneath, right? The tight end whip route. This tight end whip route is just insane. You do not have a lot of stock tight end zig routes, uh, period, in Madden. And this one is so good. You can see him just absolutely torches defender for huge yards. And then also the post route by our slot receiver on the left. So our X receiver here, he is going to beat all types of band coverage and you're going to have this as well. So just take a look at the spacing, right? If you're a human and you're trying to defend this, look at how well these are spaced. It's perfect. You got the drag route over here. He beat his man. You've got the tight end whip route over here. He beat his man. And then on the back side here, you've got a great post route that is doing a phenomenal job of beating his man. And this streak route is not doing nothing. Don't forget about the streak because he he is pushing this deep have down the field, clearing the way for this post route to have nobody in this area so you can throw it wide open. Now, what if they run a cover one? 
So for example, here's a cover one man defense. Well, cover one is not the answer and I'm gonna show you why. So again, we're gonna set it up exactly the same. Nothing changes, right? Drag route RB, wheel route Y, and we're gonna put B on a fade or a streak, it really doesn't matter. But now you have another option because if they do not have deep safety help on the left side, that running back is now a one play touchdown. Again, you can just literally lob it out there. He's going to beat his man defender every single time. And if they do not have deep safety help over there, you have a one play score. Now on top of that, every other route should win and they should still get wide open here, right? So we've got the tight end whip, you've got the post route, and then because this is a cover one man, you had a robber sitting here, um, and he'll cover it for a little while, but once he gets to the sideline, you can see he's open, but again, the one play score. Now, what if they run a cover zero man blitz, right? So let's go to overload blitz, for example, here, and I just wanna show this, let me just baseline twice, well, maybe we just do this. I don't know why everybody's misaligned here, but let's just pretend it's right. So essentially, if they're running a cover zero man blitz, you have options. So I'm gonna set it up exactly the same here, but I want to essentially show what we're doing and what we're looking for. Now, when we are running up against a cover zero man blitz, we are going to block somebody, but you can decide whether to block the tight end or block the running back. So let's just go ahead and block the tight end this time. Now, against the cover zero man blitz, if they press, that B receiver can win for a one play score. Um, additionally, you're going to get the X receiver and the Y receiver open and the RB receiver is going to have to be usered. So let's just go ahead and snap it here. Now, again, we've got the B receiver, easy one play touchdown if they press and we're going to walk in for a touchdown. But the other things to look for is if they shade over the top out of a cover zero man blitz like this, you're still going to be in just fine shape. So again, we're going to block the tight end and I'm going to shade over the top here on the outside. And this is what it's going to look like. Now, if they shade over the top, that streak's not gonna be there, but we're gonna have lots of other options. X wins, Y is gonna win, the drag route will win. You're still going to beat everybody in man coverage. Now, the great part about this though, is if they do still send cover zero man blitzes like this, which is totally fine, they can totally do that. We don't need to block the tight end. We can block the running back every once in a while, right? And just mix it up on them. So now I'm blocking the running back. So we're still going to be able to pick up the blitz. But now we have other people that will get open, right? So A is open. We still have X. We're going to get huge yards and potentially even one play scores if they don't have over the top help. So maybe the best man beater in the entire game. Tight end whip is insane. And again, I did drop a mini scheme out of this formation just recently. It's free on YouTube. Go check it out and I'll link it in the description if you wanna run this formation. Now we're gonna talk about the play verticals from the gun bunch formation out of the New York Jets offensive playbook. So for the past five, six, 10 years, the play, the play verticals has been one of the best plays in the game. And it's really no different this year. It's, it's probably the best zone beating play in all of Madden 24. And if your opponent doesn't have a plan for stopping this and they run a lot of zone coverage, you can literally run this all game and they won't be able to stop you. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to run it, how to run it the most effective way. If you do have either Hot Route Master or Running Back Apprentice, uh, putting your running back on a Texas route or um, even an in route, an out route, um, a wheel route, uh, even a streak route. These are all good options for the running back. So that's really your wild card in this play. You're not going to change anything else, to be quite frank with you. So let's just put them on an option route for now, though. And our first read on this play is always going to be the B receiver. If they are running any type of zone coverage and they do not have a hard flat to the outside, you're gonna have this B receiver every single time and you're gonna be able to throw that to the outside, gain somewhere between 10 and 15 yards. Now, this is a much easier throw if you do have set feet lead or pass lead elite on your quarterback, but if you don't, it's still something you can throw. If they don't have a hard flat, it's a very easy read and you can get really nice yards on it. So just get used to throwing that because they're gonna have to shade down or have a hard flat over there or even man that guy up. Otherwise you can throw that all day. Now let's say they are running some type of cover three or cover two or cover four, but they're shading down now, right? So your next read progression is actually gonna be to, to decide to throw between R, B and A. And what's great about the spacing on this is if this is the user, their user has to decide which one to guard because they cannot guard both of them. So let's just say, for example, he guards RB. I went and manned him up on the crossing route. So if he guards RB, then cool, we're gonna have this tight end wide open in this area for huge yards. So again, really, really simple read. Now, if they were to make the other decision, right? Let's say he guards the tight end this time. 
Again, this is no big deal for us because if he guards that, then we've got this crossing route by our RB receiver for really nice yards. So they're really in a position where they can't guard everything we want to do. Now, you might see some people start to run some Tampa 2s on you, and this is still no problem. But again, they have to have a hard flat. If they run a Tampa 2 with no hard flats, oops, let's just go to a stock Tampa 2 here. It's not the best read in the world, but it's still something that can be thrown and you know, you can still get up the field and gain 10, 15 yards. Uh, but they will have to shade down even if they run a Tampa 2. So here's a Tampa 2 hard flats. Now this is where be this just becomes nuts, right? So if they run a Tampa 2 and they shade down like this, just wait for him to get past the hard flat. And then you've got this guy to the outside and potentially even a one play score against the cover two defense. So this again, one of the best zone beaters in the game you need to have an answer for this if you're playing against it on defense and this again i've got mini schemes on this on winmadden.com's youtube already i will link it in the description if you want to run a little bit more of this offense and finally we're going to take a look at the play double post from the formation gun bunch offset out of the Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook. All right, so the play double post is probably the most overpowered play in this year's game out of the Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook. And again, this is out of the formation gun bunch offset, and we're gonna run this a very specific way. I'm gonna show you two different setups. One's gonna be a one play touchdown against cover three defense, and then just a universal beater that'll beat every defense in the game, and it's so easy to run. So in order to run this formation though, we wanna be on a hash mark. We've got the ball on the left hash mark here, and we're always gonna wanna have our bunch to the wide side of the field. Super easy, but really important to point out. Now, we're running a cover three on defense here. In order to set up the one play touchdown, we're simply going to put our RB receiver on a streak. And then I think it's a little bit better to also put our X receiver on a comeback route. So all we need to do at this point is snap the football and then buy a little bit of time. And this B receiver is going to get wide open in this little gap and he will be able to rack this up for a one play score. If you're able to buy a little bit more time, he's even going to get more open. But you can see we're able to fit that in easy one play score against cover three. Now, I wanna talk about the universal beating setup because it's so easy to do and it's a quick snap. All we're gonna do is drag route our RB receiver. That's it. This is unbelievably difficult to guard. So if you watched our last video where we talked about verticals from Gun Bunch, we have a very similar throw here. Our first read is gonna to be to our tight end. If they are running zone and they don't have any hard flats out here, you just throw this, rack it up, go get your five to 10 yards every single down it is gonna force your opponent to play some type of hard flat. Or your opponent's gonna to go to some type of Tampa 2 like this and they're gonna shade down, they're gonna make sure that they take away these quick throws, right? Well, what's so great about this is this same setup is still super annoying to guard. And I'm just gonna snap this and then I'm gonna hang onto the football and just kinda of show you the reads here. But you're gonna have the X receiver to the outside and then you're also gonna have this A receiver. He's gonna clear that hard flat and potentially give you an opportunity to go get a one play score against a cover two with hard flats. So it doesn't matter what they do, you're gonna have somebody open against every zone defense in the game. Uh, it, it's just that effective. Now, what about man? And this is where this play again still really shines. It, it destroys man defense as well. So again, we're just dragging our RB receiver, that's it. So RB will beat man coverage, Y will beat man coverage, but this B receiver will also beat man coverage and it can be a one play score against a lot of different man defenses. So again, you are really in a pickle here if you're trying to defend this play. Another thing that your opponent might do is they might say, all right, I'm sending a cover zero blitz. And that is just fine as well because you can block whoever you want on this. If you wanna block the tight end, you can block the tight end. If you wanna block the running back, you can block the running back you're gonna be able to pick up the blitz. So if they do this, right, they pick up the blitz, they send the blitz, we still have people open. We got the running back, he beats his man, we had the drag open. I mean, we've got easy reads even against the cover zero blitz. So again, one of the best plays in the game, hands down, if not the best right here. I do have a mini scheme already with this formation and featuring this play on my YouTube channel already. I will link it in the description if you want to run this scheme, but this is by far the most overpowered play in this year's game. Now, offense is great and it's incredibly important, but if you can't stop anybody, you can't win games in Madden. So if you enjoyed this video, I know you'll like this one where I show you the most unstoppable defense in Madden 24.